Hi and welcome back. In this video, let's talk about domains. We're going to see how you can do redirects, how you can create subdomains. And just uh, to talk about the last video, in the last video, what we did, we saw how you can connect your email with, with Outlook. So if you want to use Outlook as your email client, I showed you how you can connect Bluehost account emails with Outlook. So you can connect one email at a time. If you have 10 emails, you can connect all of them. And I showed you how you can just come in here, add an account and add your email accounts. So if you didn't watch that video, go back and watch it. In this video, let's talk about domains. So the first thing that I'm going to start with about domains is I'm going to show you how you can create subdomains. So let's go here. If you scroll down to domains, you just scroll down to subdomains. And then you can create the subdomain that you want to create. Like, let me call mine abc.bizanosa.club. So that will be the folder where all your files will be. Then we can create the subdomain. Then let's return to subdomains. And I want to create a second subdomain. And this one, let me just call it red dot bizanosa.club and I want to create this one as well and the reason I'm creating this second subdomain is because I want to use it to show you how you can redirect a subdomain to another website so let me copy okay so if I come here where is it you see here this one I want to use it to redirect so I can even just come here, click on this and I will get the option to redirect this subdomain anywhere else. Okay. So that's a very easy way. You can just go into the subdomains list, click on redirect and you'll be able to redirect it to any domain. So if I save this, If I save this and I come into this one, copy, you'll see that it redirects, it will redirect to the website that we created. So let's go back here into hosting. And also another way to redirect, you can just come under domains. Okay, let's go back to the cPanel, the main interface. And if you come down here to the option for domains, you can do redirects here. So you can see the redirect that we've just created is here. So I can remove it. Let me remove it so that we can recreate it. Remove redirect. Then go back. So here you can create any redirect. If you have domains that have been assigned, if you have domains that you've assigned to your Bluehost account, you can redirect them to various other websites that you already have on your account. So in my case, let's say I want to redirect this domain that I've created, this one. I want to redirect it to, to this website. If you want to redirect it, that's what you'll do. You'll choose with or without www, redirect it to this, and then you make it a wildcard redirect so that any link from it will automatically get here let's say it was a website before but the website has moved here you can redirect it here such that even if people go to red.bizanosa.club slash about it will take them to bizanosa.club slash about that's a wildcard redirect so if i add the redirect that's what's going to happen so back to redirects and let's just test it control v enter and it redirects us and it will redirect us to bizanosa.club and if i come here and let me add something at the end test let's see what's going to happen is it going to redirect us to bizanosa.club slash test? Yes, it did. 
and bizanosa slash test is not available so it shows us a 404 error so that's how you can redirect your domains if you already have domains that you want to redirect to other websites this is how you'll do it and then before i end the video here we have other options if you want to you saw how the domain manager is this is where you can assign a domain you can remove a domain you can even transfer a domain to your bluehost account through here so like the website that we the domain that we added we can transfer it to bluehost if we wanted to and then we've seen subdomains you can create subdomains you've seen how to assign domains this is the process that i did i think it was the second and third video and you saw how i can assign a domain to bluehost whether it's hosted on godaddy hosted on namecheap wherever it is being hosted you can connect it to your bluehost account and then the dns zone editor if you need to change dns details for your domains this is where you are going to do it okay so if i click on that as well so the domain manager you saw what we can do you can register a new domain you can transfer a domain you can assign a new domain so if you come into bizanosa you see if you want to transfer this into you here you can just do that okay when you click this it is going to give you all those options but i don't want to do that and then the zone editor you can add you can select the domain and let's choose that so here you can edit any of these host records that you want to add add them here maybe uh, there's a service you're using and you've been told that add the following to your domain so that's how you'd add a dns record here okay you'll just come to the zone records here dns zone editor and you can add any details cname all of this okay so if you need to add any records that's where you'd add them so in the next video what we're going to do we're going to look at the file manager let's just see let's see how you can work with the file manager okay and then after that the file manager we're going to look at ftp because sometimes you want to use an ftp client so that you can connect to your account or maybe you want to give a developer access to your files but you don't want to give them access to your bluehost account so you can use ftp so in the next video let's start looking at file manager and we're going to see how you can use the file manager and then after that we're going to go into the ftp manager as well to show you how you can create ftp accounts so i will see you in the next video